Let's start off with... My profile! Yep. My name is, as I've said, Iris. I know a lot of people were very um, confused <laughs> about how it's pronounced because of the spelling, probably. It is not, it is not Iris. It is not, it is not Iris. <laughs> it is just Iris. Yes, like the flower. Simple, simple stuff. <laughs> mm. And my race, I am a Nephilim. I am half angel, half demon. Yes, I'm a Nephilim. For those who don't know. Yes, Nephilim. Oh, such a hard word to spell. <laughs> and then my birthday. My birthday is March 7th. Mm -hmm. I do want to... Um, Give you guys a heads up or like just FYI. <laughs> I am not, I am not Kanata Senpai's or Entoa Senpai's child. I know they're both really awesome angels and demon senpais, yes. <laughs> but you know, let's not trouble them. <laughs> let's not, you know, cause any trouble for them with any misunderstandings. Right? <laughs> I love my senpais though, but yes, I've been around this world for a long, long time. To be to be just born recently, yeah, that's, I've been I've been here for a while. So <laughs> I did like the memes though. Yes, okay. And my height, I am 166 centimeters with shoes on, with my high heel shoes on. And as for my age, well, as long as you've had hope in your heart, that is my age. <laughs> so it might, you know, depend on from person to person, you know? But yes, age is but a concept. That's how things work when it comes to beings like me. Uh huh. But just letting you guys know though, I am, I am quite young for my race quite young. That's all you need to really know, really. That I'm young for my race. Boy. And languages. Yes, I can speak both English and Japanese. Hai. Eigo to Nihongo. Yoho to mo hanasemasu. Eh to Nihongo wa ma nichijou kaiwa level de eh to hanasemasu. Yokattara zehi zehi Nihongo komento mo enyo naku shite yatte kudasai. Hai. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. Okay, moving on. My bio. Okay, so I know most of you guys probably have already seen this or read this <laughs> from the PR announcement and all that stuff. <laughs> but let's go through it just for in case for those who haven't read it and you know, just to um, brush up our memory. Yep. Um, I am Iris. I am a half demon, half angel, also known as an Ephilim. I brought hope to the paradise a long, 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 long time ago. Mm -hmm. It was it was seriously a long time ago. <laughs> I do have a last name, mm -hmm. but that is a secret for now. Yeah. And yes, the world has awakened me once more. It seems like the world has needed me, which is why I've awakened. And that is the reason why I'm here right now. I have descended once again. I do bring hope by singing, singing my songs, and of course, in the future, with by streaming as well. And as I've said before, I am pretty young as a Nephilim. <laughs> so, yes, uh, my appearance can sort of morph <laughs> depending on my the state of my emotions or when I'm going through phases. Yep. <laughs> you know, everyone has their phases. So if you ever see me looking, you know, slightly different on certain days, you know, just don't pay too much mind to it. <laughs> That's just me going, going through an emotional or some sort of phase. Uh -huh. That's that's what explains that. <laughs> mm. And yes, do not ask me about past events. That is not important. Parts of the second, my first awakening, yeah, that, that's not important right now, you know? The past isn't important. 
What is important is what is going on now, the present, now, and the future. Let's, let's look ahead. Yes. Let's look ahead and beyond. Okay. Next. Some facts about me. Yep. I like food. I love human world food. It's all amazing. But I especially love spaghetti with meatballs. I do like meat sauce too, but I like my meat in balls. And as I, I'm sure a lot of you guys noticed that I have very sharp fangs. Rawr. That does not mean that I like tough food. Mm -hmm. I like my food soft. Not mushy soft, but soft. Like tofu. It's amazing stuff. It like melts in your mouth. And, of course, I love, I love sleeping. Sleeping. I slept this whole time until my second awakening. I slept for a long, long, long time. I could I could sleep forever if no one if no one woken me up. I could just sleep. I could just stay in eternal eternal sleep. But here I am. I will of course take regular sleeps and naps as you like you know like a human as well. And of course singing. I love singing. That is what I love to do. That is my passion. And I also love learning new songs. So fun. As for games, I love I love PvP, player versus player games. It's just so fun to be able to, you know, play with someone real time, like not with just like an NPC or a computer. You know? Oh my god, how much how much civilization has evolved over time. Amazing stuff. And this is a weird hobby, but I do like playing Sudoku. A you know, Solving a couple puzzles before going to bed is very relaxing for me. Mm -hmm. I do not like numbers. I do not like seeing math problems or math or numbers in general. But when it comes to Sudoku, that's like the only time I welcome numbers in my life. <laughs> yes, I know it's a weird hobby, but yes, I love Sudoku. And yes, don't ask me any math questions, by the way. Well, I'll talk about that later, but my dislikes. I usually don't have that many dislikes when it comes to food, but I especially hate celery. Celery. I, especially when it's raw. I don't know what, 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 how people can eat that. It's just, it just, I can't stand the taste. Yeah, I, I, I like other veggies. I love vegetables. Just, just celery is a no-go for me. And heights. Yes, I don't like heights either. Like, or tall places, like high, high, high-rise places. Yeah, I know I was on top of Tokyo Tower. <laughs> but, yes, um, I, that's because I needed to be on top of Tokyo Tower. I was, I was very doki doki and afraid when I was on, on top of there. I couldn't, I couldn't really look down. <laughs> But yes, I, I try to I tend to avoid high places. I tend to avoid flying in general. I know I have wings, but yes, I, I don't really like flying. <laughs> I only fly when need be. When need be. When need be. And bugs. Oh my god, bugs. I, I hate almost almost every single form of bug in this world. Especially the ones that are brown with long antennas. I won't name I won't name the species, but I'll leave that to your imagination. <laughs> I really don't know why why the world has given birth to such creatures. Oh. And then oh this is a weird one, but <laughs> Yes, I do not like Santa. Santa's not 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 for Iris, no. <clears throat> it's like, you know, since I'm a half demon, I've never ever received presents from Santa before. He totally forgot about how I have an angelic side too. I'm half angel too, you know? But apparently, I'm not qualified for presents, which makes me sad every year. And I personally find it slightly, you know, creepy <laughs> for, you know, Santa. 
a man or old man to like you know creep and intrude into children's houses to leave presents in the middle of the night I find that you know a little unsettling <laughs> a little creepy if you ask me <laughs> though I know everyone loves Santa you know the presents are nice so yeah uh, and another weird one. Oh wait, no, before that, math. Yes, I mentioned how I don't like numbers. Don't ask me math questions. I saw math questions in the comments. No, no, I will probably answer 90% of them wrong. I do not want to show you my how bad I am in math. <laughs> and mm, ceiling fans. I don't really see the purpose of ceiling fans. They don't really make the room that cool. There's air conditioner now that civilization has evolved. Air conditioners are amazing, but ceiling fans, uh, yeah, I don't see the point. And they take forever to stop spinning when you turn them off. <laughs> and I guess part, part of the reason why I don't like them is probably because I watched too much, too much uh, Final Destination. <laughs> Uh, I know destination, yeah, that, that gives you traumas, you know, and ever since watching that, it just makes me think that, you know, that spinning ceiling fan could just suddenly pop off the ceiling and just ram into me and cause a lot of physical damage. Oh my god, that, that, is, that is a scary, scary thought, scary thought. <clears throat> and I didn't bother to add this in my likes because I thought, you know, it's self-explanatory that I love anime, I love manga, I, I just love, I love that culture, it's amazing. But when it comes to my favorites, my, especially my very first, my, my favorite favorite is Evangelion. Evangelion. I love Kaoruka, I love Shinjuku. And Bakuman, Bakuman, and Death Note. Yes, I, I'm already on my, I've already watched Bakuman three times, like three full times. It's like 75 episodes, yeah, times three. <laughs> and Death Note also by the same writers. It's great stuff. I love how they portray the Shinigamis. Shinigamis are so cool. Can't believe I have a Shinigami senpai now. Kelly senpai so cool. And Angel Beats. I feel like that anime brings like a lot of hope in like the afterlife. Yes, it's good stuff. Good stuff. And Kaguya sama, love is war. I just I just love love comedy stuff. You know, romance comic com rom coms. Yes, rom coms. I know it's a shonen manga, but I do like rom coms and I also love shoujo manga, so it really it really fits with what I like. Good stuff. And if you do not consider Evangelion a a robot robot anime i would suggest that my favorite robot anime would be gundam seed i like destiny too but i love gundam seed i think it's like a good gundam series to start off with before watching the others it's just so so much fun and the promised neverland i love it how the children try to you know overcome almost impossible barriers in life. It's really inspiring. 